Hey everyone, Adrian here, Indiana Backyard Gardener. I just wanted to give you guys this really quick video. I wanted to come with some information for you guys. To start with, what I wanted to talk about was um, succession planting and that it's not too late. So I was in a live the other day. I think it was the chat. Uh, with Nikki and Stacy, hands in the dirt and the OCD is chick. So, and somebody mentioned that it was too late for them to start a garden. And right away I was like, no, it's not too late. It's only the beginning of June. It's not even summer yet. And then uh, she mentioned that she was in Texas. So I was like, oh, it's definitely not too late for you to start a garden. So that got me thinking that maybe a lot of people are thinking that it's too late. Well, it is not too late. Let me tell you, some of us are a little late getting to the party, but it's not too late, okay? You can still plant now in June, you can still plant a lot of things, okay? So the first thing you wanna think about is when is your first frost date, okay? So my first frost date is the 22nd of October. It's my first projected frost date, okay? Lately it's been um, staying fairly decent weather-wise all the way up till the end of November. Okay, now we might get some cold, it might get like a little roller coaster, but that's where things like row covers and hoop houses and houses and things like that come into play so I am in zone 6a I used to be 5b now I'm 6a you need to know when your first projected frost date is okay so that's important number one when is your first projected frost date all right um, and when was your last frost date, okay? So from your last frost date, which is whenever it was in April or end of March or what it, depending on what zone you're in, till fall, October, November, how many days do you have in your growing season, okay? I have 175 days in my growing season. So that is from the last frost date all the way through till my first frost date. Okay, does that make sense? So from the time I can plant until the time the frost comes back, I have 175 days, all right? So you have to think about, it's a little, a little math involved, it's a little math, okay? You have to think about where am I at right now in my growing season and how many days do I have left, okay? And are you willing to do things to extend your growing season? Are you willing to put out the row covers? Are you willing to put out the, um, what are they called, uh, cold frames and just layers of protection for your plants. I have some uh, drop over um, like greenhouses that I can quickly drop over my plants if I have to. So things like that, okay? If you're willing to put in that much effort, then your growing season can be longer. But anyhow, as of right now, you can still be planting a lot of things and I'm gonna give you a list. So you can still be planting beans. You can still be planting beets. You want to give them full shade if you're in a hot area, okay? Like zones seven through 10, you definitely have, they have to be in full shade, all right? Cabbage uh, for a fall harvest. And we'll talk about that in the second part of the video. Uh, carrots, carrots definitely full shade or at least partial shade, okay? Carrots, corn, cucumbers, you can do the vine or the bush, P 
peas are going to definitely need some partial shade. Yellow squash, zucchini, which are both summer squashes. You can also get your winter squash in as well. Winter squash takes longer, but if you have the time, you can plant it now. You'll have to get on it though. Um, salad greens like kale, arugula, collards, definitely want to be either full or partial shade, but doable, okay? Fruits and herbs, melons and watermelons, you'll want to, it's, you'll want to choose fast maturing varieties. So things that are like 60, 75 days, something like that. Um, that would do best if you're going to do like melons and things like that, that are going to take a long time to mature. Radish. Radish does prefer a cooler soil temp, but you can definitely succession sow radishes and uh, do, you know, every 30 days or so you can plant a, another harvest, another um, round. Potatoes. Potatoes, 75 to 95 days for potatoes, okay? Bunching onions, Swiss chard, okra, tomatoes. Tomatoes you can still plant now, but you'll want to choose early maturing varieties, okay? Like I said, remember how many days you have left in your growing season. And peppers as well. The same thing goes for peppers. You want to choose varieties that are going to mature quickly so that you'll have enough time to um, benefit from the fruits of your labor. All right, so those are just a few of the things on the list. I am so sure that there's probably more things you could be planting, but that was just a quick list that I put together. Now, I mentioned cabbage, I mentioned kale, I mentioned collards. Now, some of those things you would want to grow in the fall because when you have leafy greens, they tend to do better when you are growing them in a cooler setting. Not to say that they won't grow, but that they will taste better, okay? So that's it, guys. That's the list. That is, I just wanted to get that out there in case anybody is thinking, I don't have time to plan a garden. I don't have the time to do a garden now. It's too late. It is not too late and you still have time. Okay, guys, so I will have another video out later in the week and it's going to go over fall gardening. So stay tuned for that one. And until next time, the more you know, the more you grow. Bye, guys.